I mean, we, we had battled about what song that would be the, the big love song, and, and the song we had wasn't working, and I was just like praying that we could find something else. And then I Will Always Love You came along. And David Foster is a Canadian musician, record producer, composer, singer, songwriter, and arranger. In 2010, he received his star on the Songwriters Hall of Fame, as well as the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. In 2013, he was also inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Over the course of his career, he's helped to discover musical talents such as Michael Buble, Josh Groban, Celine Dion, and others. Foster has also produced some of the most well-known artists like Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, Andrea Bocelli, Chicago, and Tony Braxton. He's been awarded 16 Grammys from his 47 nominations. His career in the music industry has spanned almost five decades, mainly beginning as a keyboardist for the pop group Skylark in the early 1970s. Actually uh, came out. Um, I did a song called I Didn't Know My Own Strength, and it was written by Diane Warren, and the lyric is so right on. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is David Walter Foster, but he's also known as the Hitman. He was born November 1st, 1949 in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, making him 72 at the time of this production. He stands at five feet, 10 inches tall. The star sign of David is Scorpio, and he weighs around 70 kilograms. The color of his eyes is hazel, and his hair is gray. David occasionally lifts weights in the gym whenever his busy travel and work schedule allows him. At his age, the musician is turned into a more dedicated practitioner of yoga and formerly shared his surprise at being a consistent follower of this discipline. He trains under the supervision of LA-based former elite track athlete turned yoga teacher Tiffany Russo. Although David has been a moderate alcohol drinker all his life and preferred wine to other hard liquors, he decided to quit alcohol completely in his late 60s. He's also never resorted to smoking in his life. Outside of his personal life, David has raised and given away hundreds of millions of dollars to charity, primarily through the David Foster Foundation, which focuses on children who are fighting for their lives due to a medical condition. He's often expressed his admiration for the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, a part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and has collaborated with them to create religious music. Thanks to his fame as a veteran music producer, Foster has had many opportunities to appear on television, mostly on music-related programs. In April 2006, he was a guest mentor on American Idol and a guest judge on Nashville Star. He's also appeared on the show's Celebrity Duets, Star Tomorrow, The View, The Oprah Winfrey Show, and The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and was a judge on the competition show Asia's Got Talent in 2015, 2017, and 2019. At the Juno Awards in 2019, David Foster was honored for his philanthropic work due to his own foundation supplying money to charities and Canadian families in need of life-saving transplants. His sister, producer James Foster, is the mother of Clay Aiken's son, Parker Foster Aiken. He's a cousin of race car driver Billy Foster. Foster has been married five times, has five biological daughters, and seven grandchildren. His first marriage was to singer and writer B.J. Cook. His second marriage was from 1982 to 1986 to Rebecca Dyer. His third marriage to actress Linda Thompson lasted from 1991 to 2005. They actually worked as a songwriting team and collaborated on several songs, including I Have Nothing, performed by Whitney Houston in the film The Bodyguard. While he was married to Thompson, he was stepfather to Brody and Brandon Jenner. Thompson's sons from her previous relationship with Caitlyn Jenner, then Bruce Jenner. Thompson, Foster, and two Jenners actually briefly starred together in a reality television show, The Princes of Malibu. Foster's fourth marriage was to Dutch model Yolanda Hadid from 2011 to 2017. In June 2018, Foster became engaged to singer and actress Catherine McPhee, who is 34 years his junior. 
They married in June 2019. The music, it just didn't sound right when she sang it. It didn't sound like something. And in fact, when it came out, it bombed the first time. His father, Maurice Foster, was a maintenance yard superintendent, and his mother, Eleanor May, was a homemaker. In 1963, when he was 13 years old, he enrolled in the music program at the University of Washington. Then in 1965, he auditioned for the spot of band leader in an Edmonton nightclub. This establishment was owned by a well-known jazz musician, Tommy Banks, and he took Foster under his wing, mentoring him in the music business. After playing with Ronnie Hawkins and as a member of a backup band for Chuck Berry in Toronto, Foster moved to Los Angeles with his band Skylark in 1974. Foster was a keyboardist for the pop band Skylark. They were discovered by Eric Wangberg and their song Wildflower was a top 10 hit in 1973. After the band disbanded, Foster remained in Los Angeles and formed the band Airplay with Jay Graydon. In addition to playing his own music, he also started working as a songwriter, producer, and arranger for a variety of projects. He continued to work as a producer and songwriter through the 1980s. Examples of his work from this period include multiple Chicago albums, the songs Forever and Heart to Heart for Kenny Loggins, and he worked on Kenny Rogers' albums, What About Me, and The Heart of the Matter. Notable songs produced by Foster in the 90s include The Power of the Dream, the official song of the 1996 Summer Olympics, composed together with Kenneth Babyface Edmonds, and the Diane Warren songs Unbreak My Heart, sung by Tony Braxton, Because You Loved Me, sung by Celine Dion, and Have You Ever, sung by Brandy. In 2008, Foster hosted a one-night concert, Hitman David Foster and Friends in Las Vegas. The show featured songs written and or produced by him during his 35-year career, with Foster at center stage on the keyboard. Foster was confirmed as the next chairman of Verve Music Group, but he left the label in 2016 after a corporate reorganization. He has produced the best-selling Christmas album in the years 1998, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2011, and 2012. As of 2018, Foster was writing a musical about Betty Boop with Susan Birkenhead, along with a musical with Jewel based on Amy Bloom's novel, Lucky Us. It was only pay phones, there was no cell phones, so now you've won. Now you want to tell everybody, so you have to stand in line at the pay phone to like phone your parents and you phone my mother and go like, I just want a Grammy, you know. He's been responsible for selling over 500 million albums for the artists he's worked with through the years. David has primarily accumulated his net worth through albums and live concerts. He also makes money from brand endorsement deals. He signed as the Global Grand Brand Ambassador for Air Asia in 2015. In 1995, Foster secured a deal with Warner Brothers that allowed him to set up his own boutique label, 143 Records, as a joint venture with Warner. He has a net worth of $150 million. In 2021, David and Catherine paid $7.1 million for a mansion in LA's Brentwood neighborhood. The house has 7,449 square feet of living space on two levels, plus an almost 2,000 square foot basement and a separate three-car garage. He likely owns the following cars, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Lamborghini Gallardo, a Cadillac Escalade. An Audi R8.